Hey guys, Practical Psychology here with a great video that I know a lot of you have requested. And I've got an amazing YouTuber here with some of his tips. Leave a comment if any of his tips help you read quicker. In this video, we're going to look at seven speed reading hacks that actually work. So whether you're a student who wants to get through that boring textbook that you were forced to read faster, or someone who just wants to get the most out of what they read, stick around because this video is for you. Hey guys, my name is Clark. I also have a YouTube channel centered around psychology and improving yourself. If you like this video, be sure you come on over, subscribe. We'd love to have you a part of the community. Now, let's get into those seven killer speed reading tips to read faster. Tip number one, visual regression. That's a fancy way of saying rereading and going back over what you've already read so fast you don't even realize it. Think of riding a bicycle, and for every two pedals forward, you take one back. It's definitely going to slow us down, right? This tip is saying if you want to read faster, you need to force yourself to keep moving forward. To fight visual regression, or backpedaling, consider using a pen, highlighter, or your finger as a pacer so that you can't go back. I've even heard of people physically drawing lines as they read with the pen. So it's up to you, but if you're game to ruin your book, that might work. Tip number two, don't sub-vocalize. This may be the single most important tip to read faster. Research has shown that when we read silently, our vocal cords are actually constricting and expanding as if we're saying the words out loud. That means your reading speed is determined by how fast you can speak. The problem? Most people speak around the average pace of about 110 to 150 words per minute. With practice, you can easily get your reading speed up to 400 to 700 words per minute. By the way, JFK's reported reading speed was around 1,200 words per minute. So the best way to cut down on sub-vocalization so you can increase your speed is practice. I'll link two apps in the description for you to do that. Another great tip is to find an audiobook of what you want to read and put the speed at 2x. Then follow along as you're in your actual book and by the end of it, you'll find yourself reading faster. Tip number three, use a song anchor loop. It's easy to get distracted when reading, especially in complete silence. One tip I learned through Tim Ferriss was to play the same song over and over again while reading. This is called a song anchor. It provides just enough white noise to fill the dead space where we would otherwise get distracted. Kind of what a mantra or saying the same word over and over in your head is to meditating. I'll link a website that I use to loop YouTube videos in the background as I edit for my channel. The song's completely up to you, but I like instrumentals or anything down tempo. Tip number four, don't start at the beginning. When reading, aim to begin one word in from the first word of each line and end one word in from the last word. This allows you to tap in and use your peripheral vision. Play around with this. You might start two or three words in if you want to read even faster. The big idea here is don't let your eyes bounce around too much. Aim to stay in the middle of the sentence in the middle of the page. So those four tips were ways to increase your speed. The next three tips will help you retain more of what you read. Tip number five, skim before you read. What do you do when you find yourself getting lost often? You get to the end of a page and you wonder if you even read it, right? Well, a study at a university found that when students quickly skimmed what they were about to read before reading, it increased their comprehension drastically. But what's the difference between skimming and reading? Skimming's goal is only about speed. Reading is about comprehension. So when you pre-skim what you're about to read really, really fast, you don't have to worry about where you're reading. You only have to focus on what you're reading. This is sort of like getting an outline for a class so you can follow along or an outline for a meeting before it starts. Tip number six, reread stuff that you love. Counter to popular belief, it is not a waste to reread books that you love. In fact, oftentimes, you get more out of the second or third time around. I have books that I go back to and read every single year and continue to get new information from. Think back to the top five books you learn the most from and go back through and read sections of them. I like to write in the margins, highlight, underscore important parts so I can go back through and pull those out whenever. The last tip, number seven, these are three questions to go deeper. On my channel, I like to do book summaries to reinforce what I learned. To come up with ideas for those, I always ask myself these three questions. I recommend you giving them a shot if you're curious too. Question one, what are the best five ideas from this book? Question number two, if I had to condense this entire book onto a three by five note card, what would I write on it? Question three, 
What is the 20% of this book that provides 80% of the benefit? One last bonus tip, make extra effort to share what you've learned while it's fresh. This helps reinforce it more in your mind. Talk about it with a friend, post a comment in the video, share it on social media, however you share it, that'll help you remember it more. So what do you think is the best speed reading tip? Leave a comment below with your tip or something you found useful in this video so that others will benefit. Lastly, come on over and subscribe. I'd love to have you a part of our growing community. We post tons of videos on psychology, motivation, inspiration, anything to make your life better. Huge thanks to Practical Psychology for letting me share these tips with you. This is one of my favorite channels on all of YouTube, and you're in the right place. Until next time, stop settling, start living, have a great week. I hope you guys enjoyed this collab. Clark has been putting some amazing work and value into his channel. Everything from book reviews to productivity hacks and recently some tips on how to grow your YouTube channel. So I highly recommend checking out his channel. There's some insane value. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like if you did and subscribe for more.